Sorry. Are you checking your phone? We're, we're filming. We actually just started <laughs> filming, and the first thing you did is pull out your phone. Uh, you are what? Professional. I'm good. Sorry. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, welcome to the Daily Iceland. The only song that's not, that it's named actually daily, but it's not daily because it's, sure, it's, a... it, it's YouTube in the end of the day. And, and perhaps people watch this daily, so it could be daily. I don't know. There... Yeah, you can watch the same video every day, and thus it is the Daily Grapevine, Daily Iceland. <laughs> I don't know the name of it, but I, my name is Hannah Jane. I'm the listings director of the Reykjavik Grapevine. My name is Valo Gratisson. I'm editor in chief at Reykjavik Grapevine. Uh, today we're going to talk about five culture shocks you might experience when you come to Iceland and how to deal with such culture shocks. It's like tips and tricks, right? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Mean, you need to know, there are, there are odd uh, customs that we have. For sure. Uh, and I think, uh, I'm not, I don't agree, agree that all of them are that weird, but uh, I, we, I have though noticed that some of them are really hard. For and very <laughs> unique to Iceland. Yeah. Very unique to Iceland. So number one, is, number one yeah. is the snorting thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we snort like... <laughs> <laughs> I can't even do it. I hate... I don't understand because I feel like there's no pollen here. There's no like... like you, No one has allergies here. What are you snorting? We are always with a cold, you know. I mean, there is always cold in Iceland. I think... I think... I, like, I have like memories from seven years that I just had cold all all the time. Like in the summer, in the winter. I was always like uh, sneezing like, and like... <laughs> But like, do you know they say like scient scientists, doctors, or like the internet says you're not supposed to snore if you have a cold. You're supposed to blow your nose. Yeah, because it goes on it, yeah, like here. You're making yeah. yourself sicker. Yeah, so that's true. I, but I just yeah. think it's gross because Icelanders will just do that. Like they don't have any shame. They're not gonna do that in, you know, well, in what? private. They're not gonna be like, oh, excuse me, and then leave the room and be like. <sighs> They're yeah. just like talking. They're like, oh, hit my school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, how was your day? Oh. Yeah, it's the worst basically when you do this and like, what do you do? Do you do you just swallow it? Do yeah, you, it's gross. You, are you going to like, like just spit oh, it on the, on the, on the sidewalk? It. Are you going to spit it at the person you're talking to? I hate Where's it. Gonna ha what's going to happen here? Yeah, or like you have a napkin. You're just like, <laughs> <laughs> that's disgusting. I hate that. I think it's, I, I'm fine with a lot of these Icelandic things. I'm not fine with that. I think it's gross. I think though, I mean, we are always with cold and, and everybody's with, co with cold here. Like everybody that lives here for a while gets cold yeah. and so on. Uh, so I think it's, uh, I mean, this is uh, like, I think the first 200 years, after 200 years or something of this, uh, yeah, yeah. you just uh, keep, stop noticing it or something. I feel you. So I don't know. I, ha I can't, I can't notice this anymore. I think the tips and tricks, I think how to deal with that. I think you should point it out. I think you should give Icelanders a weird look every time they do it. <laughs> look, like a no, little bit of a no, public no, no, shame. No. Just like every time they snort, just be like. <laughs> and then they'll get self-conscious and maybe be like, huh, maybe I should carry around a handkerchief. But the thing is, like, Icelanders are not that good in hitting, like, uh, this passive-aggressive No, uh, definitely not. Message. They wouldn't I mean, even get it. They wouldn't even get it. So you, you kind of just have to say, like, uh, this nothing thing is just yeah. <laughs> impulsive, man. And then you should be like, well, lucky for you, the Reykjavik grapevine has come out with a line of handkerchiefs. Exactly. With a grapevine logo. With a grapevine logo. <laughs> Perfect for all of this. Uh, we, but with the like, with uh, the hitting, like, uh, yeah, we, we, like into the next thing. We, mm -hmm. we, it's like with uh, like we t talked about. We don't get uh, a lot of like these passive aggressive uh, things. Yeah. Often. No. Uh, be, and number two is basically the staring. Yeah. Icelanders stare. Oh yeah. Uh, and we stare like like this. It's very uncomfortable. And, like, and we just we follow you even when when you're walking down the street or something. Uh, yeah. and I, I, to be honest, uh, I don't know why we do this. I mean, I think it's because we are so few, I guess, but I don't, I don't, I think it's weird because Icelanders are not necessarily like the, the warmest people when you first meet them, like they are if they're drunk, but if, if you just like <laughs> meet an Icelander and like, I don't know, I, I mean, compare them to Americans or even English people mm -hmm. who are like absurdly friendly, yeah. Icelanders are much more reserved. So yeah. then the staring thing, yeah. adding the staring thing to that means that you're constantly like, well, does this person hate me? Like, do I have something in my teeth? <laughs> yeah. Like, is my, do I look weird right now? Like, what is going I, on? I have been in a coffee house where like someone, I mean, in a, in a fairly good town, like with 15, 20,000 yeah. people. And a, a person came into the coffee house and did everything just dropped them off. They like, they just stared like, who yeah. are you? And the person just walked like closely, like you know, uh, to the counter, and didn't know what to, what to think about it. Exactly. I mean, of course, it's, it's weird, but 
we are few uh, this is not like in, in 101 this the, the downtown area yeah. this is not a thing no. but if you go to like uh, Hapnafjörður if you go to uh, like to the countryside you will you will feel this often especially if you're not uh, white then you, you will For feel sure. this if you're like yeah. foreign in yeah. a visible way people are like oh my god like what is that like, where are you from? Tell yeah. me everything about that place, because I'm from, you know... I mean, Iceland, Iceland, Iceland is so white. Then I think yeah. I saw a colored person for the first time in my life when I was like 10 years old or something. Whoa. So it's like, in, in Iceland. And, and that was like a scary moment. Yeah, it's like, you're like, I've never seen someone. And you're yeah. like, you're just like, tell me everything. Yeah. I, I will say, I think I'm being quite cruel to Icelanders right now. Mm. I think the staring thing comes back to that. That like, and it's, it's anytime they see someone new, mm. even in their own community, yeah. they're like, who is that? Yeah. Who are you? Yeah. Where are you from? Tell me everything about yeah. yourself. It's I'm not, fascinated. It's, it's, it's not a rude thing to do. No. Actually, they are not thinking about it in a rude way. They are not judging you. But they are like, because we know a lot of people. We know everybody yeah. somehow. And we are trying to connect. We're trying to like, do I remember this face or whatever? Yeah. And to like, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's more as a curiosity or something. I right? think so too. So, I, yeah, and I think like they're just everyone else does it, so they don't think it's weird. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Everyone else is staring, so they're like, "That's a normal thing to do." So I think the tips and tricks here is to basically ignore it. Stare uh, back. Stare back is actually a stare fantastic. Back. Yeah, they're I, staring at you. Yeah, the, the, I actually when I was I, I noticed this for the first time when I was like uh, living in the downtown area here, and then it was like the people that were not, like driving down Lögavegur, they were like really staring, and they were like following you as they drove past yeah. you, and the the only way was just to stare back, and they of course feel it immediately. This is uncomfortable for everyone. Yeah, or wave. Better yet, give them a yeah. But do not take to the New York attitude, like, what are you staring at? <laughs> like, yeah, don't give any, like, rude hand gestures. But I think a nice little wave. <laughs> yeah. A wave, like a, a, a maybe a head nod. Yeah, yeah. Then that's good, because then maybe they'll start waving back, and suddenly yeah. Iceland becomes this sort of, like, beacon of friendliness worldwide, you where can, everyone waves at each other. You can even mess with them and just say hi and, and pretend that you know yeah, them. Yeah, exactly. Be like, Gudrun! Can we show the Gerskan? That would be very weird. Uh, to the next one. Yes. Uh, inhaling in sentence. I did not know about this uh, until I started working here. Uh, that this was a weird thing. Yeah. Like doing this. <gasps> they don't do it. I mean, I think we did an article on this, but yeah. maybe they do that one other place in the world. I don't remember the article. But yeah. I, it's very, very much like only in Iceland. Will you ever, in the middle of the sentence, be like... <gasps> Okay. I mean, why, when you came here the first time, did, did you notice this immediately? Yeah. And did you think this was weird or was it... Yeah. I think like, I think I first thought, I think when I, I started making friends here and everything, I mm. thought, okay, maybe my friend, my friend, whatever, let's take my, let's pretend her name is Helga. I'm like, oh, <laughs> you know, Helga does this it's kind of weird, but that's just something Helga does. And then I realized everyone did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, what is this word? I, what is it? And then I realized you're just saying, yeah. So I was... But it, it is, I use that all the time. That's mm -hmm. one of the things I have heavily adopted. Even when I'm in America or abroad, mm -hmm. I'm still have to, because yeah. it works in so many situations. <laughs> like there's no, it's just sort of an acknowledgement yeah. of you being there and this all happening. Yeah, it's like a heavy yes. Yeah. That's just, what it is. Like, like you can say, yes, yes, I agree. Then you can say, oh. And then you're like, really agree. Okay. You're, you're in the conversation. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's also, it's like also sort of a time filler. Like if nothing's go, you have a conversation and there's oh, like an yeah. awkward, there's like a, like a lull and no one's saying anything, yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's awkward. You're just like, yeah, okay. Yeah, exactly. And that's a, sort of a beautiful thing. Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, to the next one. Uh, yes. I love this one. Uh, I, I've true. done this many times yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah. I'm guilty. Uh, ignoring you uh, the day after you got drunk together. It's a weird one, uh, yep. but it's a, it's a common one though, right? Yeah, I will say that this happens other places in the world, of course, yeah. but the, the, like, the extremity of how it happens in Iceland, <laughs> especially because it's so small, is yeah. bizarre. Like, <laughs> I'll say girls especially, there's a, mm. a concept called like drunk best friends, yeah. and it's usually when you're in the bathroom, like yeah. fixing your makeup, you'll meet a girl <laughs> and like, she'll be like, oh, I love your lipstick, and then yeah. you're like, I love you, mm -hmm. and then you become best friends for those 20 minutes. Yeah. But now in Iceland, if that happens, 
you see that person the next day, mm -hmm. not only will they like, they'll probably give you a look like acknowledging your existence, yeah. <laughs> but just never say anything to you ever again. And if you meet them again, mm -hmm. they will never mention that previous incident. No. Yeah. I mean, I've got gotten drunk like like a be the best friend of ever. Like we were like like oh. talking really like we're just getting into it, talking together, drinking and so on. The day after, you're like I meet him on Lerabus. Like, oh, like, I can't do this. Like, yeah, you can't even like fake it. You just walk past. It. Exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's awful, but you do it. I did yeah. it. Yeah. I also like I found this uh, show. Uh, well, not now, perhaps, but like a few years ago before the tourist boom, they were like, you were bound to meet again somehow. And you're always meeting the same people again and again and again on the streets. And yeah. you're always like doing the not like, uh, like this. <laughs> and the thing is, like, you know each other and so on, but you're like, how many times can you just stop and talk? It's like not like you're meeting in a 12 exactly. million uh, super metropolitan city. You exactly. Know? So it's like, I don't know, it's, it's more like a, just t trying to defend your, like, and I think there's have a, like a huge personal space. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a kind of a part of that, I guess. Yeah. And I, I think like, the flip side of that is the, the way I see it, why this happens. And it's the same reason why Icelanders don't necessarily date. Mm -hmm. They just sort of assume they're going to see the person again. Yeah. And then it's because it's so small. So mm -hmm. like if you meet someone out that you really like click with mm -hmm. and you get along really well with, it's not like you have to exchange numbers right then, plan right. to meet yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. You're sort of just like, oh, I'll probably see them again yeah. like next weekend. I'll probably yeah. see this person again. And then so you're let's just like, make, oh, whatever. Make that moment again. Yeah, somehow. it's just like whatever. Yeah. But that's... Tips and tricks for foreigners coming here, like travelers or whatever, is that uh, that's like how you will make friends. Is like mm -hmm. you just sort of see the pe the same people out over and yeah. over, and then you eventually are like, well, I guess we're friends now. Yeah. And then and <laughs> then happens. you sort of just like cross that boundary, and then you're like friends, yeah. and then you're and then you're you're sort of in. Yeah, the thing is, like, the tips and tricks about this is, like, it's, it's odd, it's not, like, just keep in mind that the person is not rejecting you or something like that. It's yeah. more, like, it's more about the personal space of Icelanders, which is a little bit bigger, <laughs> weirder than for most, because we have such a huge land, but a uh, small population. Oh, yeah. Uh, and that means that it's just, like, uh, when when you meet them again in a, in a drink or something, he will be your best friend again exactly. so, so do not do not panic oh yeah that's kind of kind of the the, the lesson for this <laughs> yeah don't panic you know live your life yeah uh and oh yeah this i mean last one is bad we have to go to the last one uh a lot of people know about this but uh this is naked in the showers yeah i i love this to be honest i love i mean i grew up with this i i feel there is nothing awkward about this but i started noticing a few years ago that a lot of tourists feel very awkward when they go yeah. to the swimming pools of Iceland, which are great, and a lot of them, and you should go there. Uh, For sure. But everybody showers naked, and you're supposed to, and there will be an angry man even <laughs> who come yeah, like, but yeah, you have to okay. do this naked. <laughs> it's more than they shower naked. It's way, okay, so like you shower naked, but that means like people, so like you shower, and then you get out of your shower, you get the towel. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it's like in the men's dressing room, no, but in the women's dressing room, they like dry themselves off and then walk naked around. Mm -hmm. And I hate that I'm uncomfortable with this. I wish that I wasn't, I didn't have my repressed American upbringing mm -hmm. where I see people doing this and I'm like, you have a towel, put it on. Because I don't care, like I don't care. <laughs> I'm, but I, I'm just like, I hate that I'm uncomfortable and I've been here for like three and a half years, mm -hmm. almost four years and I, I still hate it. And Maybe. I feel wait, I feel social pressure to, to do what everyone else is doing. Like I'm not gonna be the one who's like walking around in a towel because yeah. then I'll look weird. Yeah. You know, and I'm self conscious, so I look weird. So I'm like, oh I guess I better yeah. embrace the nudity and I, uh, I just I, I imagine that this is uh, even harder for women than for the guys. Yeah. I mean I don't know if, if the guys are that self conscious about things, but mm -hmm. but uh, I mean of course, I, I didn't realize this was awkward until like the tourist boom kind of came here. I, you knew that this was not like, uh, like uh, not, not many nations did this, but it's just nudity and nobody's actually thinking about it. Nobody's no, watching not. you or anything. Or, yeah, yeah, no, and like, you're not watching other people. Yeah, really. So it's attention. like, who cares, but yeah. still. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I don't get it. Do you think it's just the upbringing in, in the... Like, yeah. uh, yeah, well, it's definitely the upbringing because yeah. they all do it as like you do. You like get exposed to that when you're a kid or whatever. And yeah. I think it's a healthy thing. Like, I think that the again, I'm going from the American's perspective. I think the American perspective of nudity just being like the worst thing, like 
you know, just the worst thing. It's so I, I, there inappropriate. There are no other no situations like in, in America. Yeah, in America, where where two people just naked together, <laughs> or more. Okay. I mean, or, yes. or like 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 in in some some like. Well, the gym or whatever. I well, know. I mean, like, America, there are children in America. Like, yeah. people still have children. So, yes, yeah. there are situations when people are naked. <laughs> but I will say that, like, I think the only thing I can think of off the top of my head is, like, saunas mm. and gyms. Especially if it's, like, same sex, maybe mm. they're naked. But, man, not in... Like, if you were in the gym... Mm-hmm. And you're just like, I'm just like laughing about it because it would be so absurd to me. Yeah. Like someone in the gym locker room in America just like walking around <laughs> naked, just like just, just like throwing it all out there. And I respect that because it's a good yeah. thing and it's healthy and everything. But it would be, I, it, I, I'm just so repressed. I also, I, I also understand that, uh, that people think this is uncomfortable. I mean, uh, of course, this is not a given thing. It's, it's an odd culture and so on. Yeah. But the tips and tricks here is like... Uh, just keep in mind that nobody's thinking about it. Yeah, no, that, that's that's number one, two, and three, I think. Yeah. Uh, when I go to the swimming pool, now nobody's like watching or anything. It's, I'm it's judging a, you. No one's judging you, no matter how what the size you are, or whatever. <laughs> I mean, uh, or, or how small you are. Perhaps if you're a really cute girl, you perhaps you get this uh, the, 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 stan- people, the standard stare. I yeah, guess, people but, are like, wow. Yeah, but. but I, yeah, I think it's also like for foreigners, travelers, you should embrace it. You should try it out. Yeah, exactly. It is like empowering and kind of freeing. Yeah. Uh, like yeah and I, I think it is good because you realize like no one cares but still I yeah I was such a repressed American I hate like I'm, I'm, I'm always like why do we have to be naked why can't we all you know wear a towel uh, also one, th- one thing about the sa- sauna though nobody's naked in the sauna in Iceland that's like uh... yeah but that's the thing in, okay I've been to a lot of sauna I'm a sauna person I love yeah. it people are naked in saunas there okay yeah. I went to <laughs> I was about to say uh, I went to like yeah, a, what's up with that though because you you put your towel down and then you lie on it and it like your skin exfoliates and you let out all your toxins. <laughs> like, I see we do that they just lie together naked. <laughs> like, yeah, but I don't see that makes sense to me because I'm like, oh, there's like it's a purpose. Like you have to be. You're sweating out. You know all your like your your. That's also happening. Although you have your towel around you, right? I don't know. That's the only place that um, I can think of okay. that people are like expected to be naked. Okay. When I was in San Francisco last summer, yeah. I went to this special sort of like, like. Russian kind of like bathhouse sauna thing Mm -hmm. and everyone was just sort of like naked in the saunas all these Mm -hmm. different and I I don't know I was like oh this is like a place Mm -hmm. where you go knowing it's naked Mm -hmm. to do that whole thing like to sit in saunas and like you know all this just just, like do this like whole like exfoliation or whatever I don't know the right word but I'm like every pool in Iceland and I hate that I would get so like Ugh. Especially when you're oh oh you want to talk about this I have something to say I have something to say is a joke among like lesbians or female liking females that going on a date to the pool yeah. for a first date is just like it's weird it's weird yeah it's, it's weird. so funny though yeah. it's like weird because you're like oh well you're yeah that would be very weird naked in the first five minutes but yeah that's <laughs> that's the only thing i'm like you know maybe not the best place but the funniest thing about like uh, tourists though going to the pools are like when they when they do not shower i love it when the, yeah. when the women come out to the they they dry hair and everything. Yeah. Full face and, of makeup. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. And like and when they s- swim like with that <laughs> up on the water, Truth. it's like you have to dive into it. It's like just go there, just uh, go into the the water. It's, it's nice. It's hot and everything. Yeah, and be go to the naked. Pool. Go to the pool. Be naked. Live yeah. your best life. Be confident. And do not uh, go with your date uh, to the swimming pool. Not for the first date. Not for the least, first date. Right? <laughs> the second, second or yeah. third is probably okay. Third. <laughs> Uh, but that's that's uh, that's everything. I think. That's everything. Uh, we have if you if you have some if you have some uh, like if you if you forgetting something, then yeah. please in a comment uh, below. Uh, yeah. If you like this and if you like us, the uh, Reykjavik Grapevine Magazine, then please uh, subscribe and like. Yeah, like and subscribe. Press the bell button for notifications and emails whenever we post a video, and also buy our merch. Yeah, because uh, that's how you end YouTube videos, you know. Buy that. <laughs> <laughs> Buy our merch, link in description. Yeah. And don't forget, we have a, a new site, uh, grapevine.is, if you want to know something about Iceland. And there's a lot of things happening right now. Oh, yeah. Okay, thank right, you. Thank you.